topic is limit state design method limit state design method basically it is a method used to design a structure design method for designing a structure uh, it is based on a statistical concept of safety safety and also associated with statistical probability of failure statistical probability of failure it is a design method which is based on the statistical concept of safety and is associated associated with statistical probability of failure so this method satisfy some criteria basically it satisfies a dual criteria dual criteria like one is safety and other is serviceability safety is defined as the acceptable degree of security acceptable degree of security against collapse or failure and here failure occurs due to due to compression tension shear torsion fatigue likewise so these are the modes through which failures occurs against safety and now coming to serviceability serviceable in serviceability failures occurs due to excessive deflection due to cracking vibration and corrosion of reinforcement corrosion of reinforcement so these are the modes of failure occurs in serviceability and compression tension shear torsion fatigue are the modes due to which failures occurs against safety when designing a structure by limit state design method some partial safety factors are used here we use the term gamma f is partial safety factor this partial safety factor is used to calculate design strength and design load so when calculating design strength characteristics strength of the material is divided by this partial safety factor 
and to calculate design load. Characteristics load. is multiplied by gamma f that means partial safety factor so design strength calculation characteristic strength is divided by gamma f and in case of design load characteristics load is multiplied by this partial safety factor the value of this Partial safety factor for concrete and steel are different. For concrete, gamma F is 1.5, 1.5 for concrete and 1.15 for steel. Again, different partial safety factor is used when different loads are combined. When we consider limit state of collapse partial safety factor used for load there are three cases in first case 1.5 dead load plus 1.5 live load in second case 1.5 dead load plus 1.5 wind load or 0.9 dead load plus 1.5 wind load in third case 1.2 dead load plus 1.2 live load plus 1.2 wind load so for different load combination different partial safety factors are used in first case here 1.5 Partial safety factor you um, multiplied with dead load and 1.5 combined with live load. When we combine dead load with wind load, DL means dead load, LL means live load and WL means wind load. So we, when we consider wind load combined with dead load, partial safety factor for both dead load and wind load is 1.5. This is a, there is a special case. The special case is 1.9 dead load is combined with 1.5 wind load, and it is considered when stability. against overturning or stress reversal is critical is critical when this condition occurs then one point sorry 0.9 dead load is combined with 1.5 wind load and in case of third case when combined three load that means dead load live load and wind load 1.2 partial safety factor is used for both sorry for three load now when we consider limit state of serviceability limit state of serviceability here also different values of partial safety factor used Also three case when dead load and wind load consider partial safety factor is one and dead load and live load combine here also partial safety factor one 
but when we combine this live load, wind load and dead load, in this combination partial safety factor for dead load is 1 for live load 0.8 and for wind load it is also for also 0.8 so using this partial safety factor to calculate the design load and by using this design load we can further proceed for design of the structure by limited design method